I know you want to claim this shit. So let's flame this shit. Indulge in the distance. <laughs> alt right, alt right, that's what they sell in. It's not about a salary, it's all about reality. Alt right, alt right, that's what they sell in. You and yours. And anybody that gets in their way. <laughs> you know? All right. Alt right, alternative right. The shit that they're bandying about to classify. A lot of men out there that don't go with the status quo. They know their shit, right? And they call us alt-right. Not only us, but now, dude, if you're saying free speech, free speech, all they're hearing in their heads is alt-right, alt-right, and it ain't all right, you know? You know? If you had, you know, voted for Obama four times and then decided to vote Trump, <laughs> right? And what I mean is four times, you know, when you vote for Obama four times, you got to live in Illinois. <laughs> you know, they have to do some shit like that, right? Because he was an Illinois senator, right? Get it. All right. All right. You know, it's kind of like a genre in music. Like, um, when punk rock was kicking ass, they sounded like, you know, a baby boomer's parents, but cooler. <laughs> Weird, right? They sounded like a baby boomer's parents, but cooler. Yet, you know, when you try to brand them with that term, you know, with that phrase, I guess, the phrase term, whatnot, they start to act in... You're like, what the fuck? That's us? Are you serious? And then there's going to be that one or a few motherfuckers that are going to be like, yeah, that's us. <laughs> so all right, you know, uh, think of it, you know, in 2030, years from now, from this recording, that when they start thinking about this alt right movement, alt right shit, right? They're going to start thinking that um, they re they re wanted to revert. They want to call that movement regressive, dare I say, you know. But if you really looked at it and you were living through that time, you would see that the left, the cultural left, the social left were the regressive ones were the authoritarian ones. See, see, there's a, um, there were quadrants I had seen on a, uh, on a uh, video, uh, on a podcast, by the way, a video podcast, right? And um, they had it div divvied up into four. And there's the um, authoritarian left, the libertarian left then there was the libertarian right and the uh the authoritarian right right and we would all go in certain quadrants in in this graph and you know which one is which who is who you know sounds like a pink floyd song right <laughs> I love that band. I don't just wear the t-shirt. I actually have been listening to that band for 20 years. Anywho. Now, when they call us alt-right, and when I say us, I mean men that have went their own way, saved themselves, have, uh, you know, stayed introspective. You know, that have been nationalist, by the way. Populist, by the way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they'll call those certain groups alt-right. Alt-right, in their eyes, can be a gay dude that went Republican. Alt-right can be a man going his own way. Alt-right can be a transgender man. Notice 
how in every scenario that I described are people that either wanted to have the Y chromosome or already have the Y chromosome. See what I'm saying? Think about it in this way and how history would write us in the books 10 years from now. They put our worldview into genres like music, right? And um, what I say about this alt-right term, we don't embrace that. MGTOWs, we don't embrace that. If more, they don't embrace that. Save yourself, black men, we don't embrace that. But here's the kicker. Years from now, we easily identify ourselves as that. When, when it comes 10 years from now, when history flies by here in about 10 years from now, when it is 2029 from the time of this recording. I know I shouldn't be dating everything, but damn, you know when this is happening. That that new generation, it could be A, B, C, whatever the fuck, right? They'll look back at this quote unquote, air quotes, alt right, and say that these guys were willing to buck the status quo, that were willing to, you know, give two extended middle fingers, sometimes four, to the intersectional way of life. Because the intersectional way of life, they're living in the past. That's another thing I want to talk about. They're living in the past, in the 60s and in the 90s. Because that's what, what happens when you turn a six into a nine, I guess. Makes no sense. I don't want to get into no numerology or nothing like that. You know, conspiracy theorists, neurology and all of that. But if you really look at it, man, they'll look back at our history and see whether or not we've been the cause of, for mass shootings. And I don't want to say we meaning all right. I want to say we meaning you know, those that chose to go our own way. Those that chose to get away from all of that. Because the way from all of that, the status quo right now, believe it or not, is the liberal, authoritarian, moral authoritarian left. Get it? So yeah, this alt-right term, I reject it highly. Not on the basis of the color of my skin, but in the content of my character. How about that? Let me take you back 50 years when I say it. But yeah. All right. I'm not going to say I claim it. 10 years from now. I'm not going to say that that was me. But I'm going to tell you about a good old rough and tumble brothers that have taken something that was called the red pill. And with that red pill, we learned how to deal. We're not cope artists. You understand? We held on to what the fuck we knew and thought was ours. And that was it. So this alt-right thing, yeah, they're going to bandy this term about. They're going to say it's a fraud, a fad, an act. But any of you within the sound of my voice know where you went, and that's your own way. That's why it's called your own way. <laughs>